we are now going to take a series, and remember that a series is when we sum a sequence. And we're going to take the series, which gives it in sequence form, and we're going to show what the summation notation looks like. So we're going to start with 1, 3, 5, 7, nope, doing this backwards, that's the sequence, we need the series 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus dot dot dot, all the way up to 101. So what we're going to do is we're going to notice that these are all of the consecutive odd numbers, and it starts with the first one, so A1, it increases by 2, so AN, 2N, and we're going to subtract 1 from it. So this is our AN term, it's 2N minus 1. So A1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. A2 is 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which is 3, and so on. A3 will be 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 6 minus 1, which is 5. So notice that that's working perfectly. So now all I need to do is figure out what gives this. So A of what, or what n, gives 101. 2 times what n? minus 1. Well, add 1, that's 102 equals 2n. When we divide by 2, n is 51. So now we know our upper bound, and we know our lower bound, and so what we get is the sum as i goes from 1 to 51, of 2n minus 1. Notice the parentheses, so the sum goes to the whole thing. And this is our answer. This is our summation notation. It has the right lower bound, the right upper bound, and the right a sub i term. Well, it's also possible to look at the following. What if we have 1 over 5 to the first, plus 1 over 5, to not to the first, 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, plus dot, 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 over to 1 of 5 times 11 being added. Well here, notice that the piece that's changing each time, in fact it matches perfectly as the n, so a n is equal to 1 over 5 n, and our first term starts at 1, and our last term starts at 11. So this one's even easier than the last one, it's just the sum as i goes from 1 to 11 of 1 over 5 i. And there's our answer, we've now written that in summation notation.